Well, once again, thank you for coming together to reflect on a verse of Scripture and pray to God. You know, with the nights drawing in, there's more time for a little rest, I hope, in your world. And as you find that time for rest, rest in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ, so that you may be renewed and reinvigorated for the time ahead. Our verse today is quite a famous verse. It's from John 14, verse 1. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God. Trust also in me. Amen. You may recall the stories of Daniel and his friends when they were led into Babylonian captivity. They refused to compromise their faith in God as they lived and worked in a foreign land. Others were jealous of their positions and conspired to do away with them. They encouraged King Nebuchadnezzar to enact a law that required everyone to bow down and worship a statue of himself. And for Daniel and his friends, this was a step too far. They were arrested and sentenced to be thrown into the fiery furnace. And Daniel's reply to the predicament can be summarised as We trust in our God and will not bow down to idols. You may not be facing a fiery furnace or even a lion's den today, but life is full of ups and downs. Are you beset with troubles or anxiety or fear? Are there times when you do not know where to turn to or who to trust? Today's passage reminds us that we should trust in God and, of course, trust in Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Trust may be a hard thing to find. To trust fully in someone is to risk losing the very trust that you are hoping to find. But if you find that person, someone you can fully rely on at any time, in any situation, then your heart can be lightened and your anxieties and fears reduced. Followers of Jesus Christ live in two kingdoms. One is where we live on earth and the other is where we will spend eternity. In this world, Christians are called to live by God's rules and standards, which can put us at odds with the prevailing culture. This may bring anxieties and trials from time to time. And yes, our hearts may be troubled. But when life throws you a curveball, where do you turn for help? Well, I can only answer for myself and I turn to Jesus. Let's pray. Loving, caring and trustworthy God, we thank you that all your promises that assure us of your presence in times of difficulties are yes in Christ. Your word assures us that you will be with us always. You are a God of justice whose mighty hand protects us. You are the God who mends the brokenhearted and heals us. You are the God who bears our burdens and shares our pain. And you are a God who we can fully trust in in all times and in all situations. And we thank you for that. And now, the Lord's Prayer, saying it in any version that you are comfortable with. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. 
Give us our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen.